Today we're taking a look at the Celebrations Binder. This is from Cultivate What Matters and it is just a binder with some tabs in it and basically like two pieces of paper inside each month. And it's supposed to help you plan for events. But I actually purchased it for a totally different reason. So let's talk about that and what it looks like. Hi everyone, I'm Lisa from Pretty Fabulous and I hope online businesses create beautiful digital downloads using Adobe InDesign. So if this sounds like you or something you might be interested in, make sure to hit the subscribe button below. I post new videos every Monday and Thursday and I do unboxings on Saturday. So this is from the same people who make Power Sheets and it came out, I wanna say right around the end of 2018 and you'll see when we open it and look closer, it actually has all 2019 dates inside of it. I mean, it's not dated, but it was clearly packaged and meant to go out in 2019. Uh, and we are right now when I'm filming this at the end of 2020. So I actually bought this, uh, well, first of all, how much was it? It was $32 and I saw that it's on sale for 16. So I suspect because it had 2019 dates inside of them, they're either trying to get rid of them or discontinue it, or maybe they're gonna come out with a new color, hopefully because this orange is just really pukey. It's the only color they had. I guess I was waiting because I wanted it earlier, but I was waiting to see if they came out with a new, better color, um, but they did not. It's just orange is the only option. Uh, now this, I totally made a huge mistake because I thought it was, cause I just saw a binder online and I'm, to I'm really bad about checking for dimensions or sizes. I thought it was like an eight and a half by 11. So I could just three hole punch pages here at home and pop them in. That is not the case at all. It is a smaller, I believe it's an A5 size. Um, so it's itty bitty, teeny tiny and totally useless for printing things out and putting them in here. Uh, so let's go ahead and just take a look inside. As always, they did a beautiful job with wrapping. Now this was a plain brown box because I ordered multiple things, but it has this beautiful Cultivate What Matters colorful tape on the top. And we have a nice card on the inside and just telling you hello. I did order some pens. They had different pens this year. So the pens they had last year dried out in like a millisecond. So we'll see how these pens are. Hopefully they're better. Test them out. And they're definitely bigger. Why can I not open them? Oh, there it is. <laughs> so let's try out my favorite color, which is the pink color. And these are really fat, thick markers. So probably not going to do a lot of fine writing with these. Um, this is more of a hot pink. And do I have my white paper? Oh, we can try writing on this. Nope. Let's go ahead and try writing on this. Ooh, so it's still really, really light. Um, let's try a couple other colors. Let's just try the blue. That's another one of my favorite colors. But this looks like it might be a really light cornflower blue. Nope, that's not bad. Uh, but these colors, because these markers, I don't know why, they're a little bit see-through, if that makes sense. Like, I guess it's not see-through. They're, they're translucent? Maybe that's the word I'm looking for. They're definitely lighter than I would have pictured. I mean, they're still pretty, um, but they're still pretty thick. So... So are these my favorite? Probably not. I don't know why. I mean, I saw pictures of them of how thick they were, but for some reason, maybe because I was thinking of the Erin Condren markers where they have another soft tip on the end. But yeah, these are kind of light. Let's try this color. I think that one's a really light color too. Yeah, it's really, really light. So, okay. So those are the markers. And then... I got, I always put this up on my wall. So it's just a regular 2021 monthly wall calendar. So you can see all of the things on the back, which are pretty much, I don't want to say a match. They're very similar to what they had last year. Um, and then this is what I really wanted to check out is the celebration binder. Now, this is way smaller than I thought it would be. Again, I'm terrible when I order. I never look at measurements. I just kind of order what I 
think is cute. And then you know how when they take those photos, because they're wide angle or I don't know what, things just appear way larger than they really are in real life. Um, oh, I do need the scissors. There's a little bit of tape on each side. Can I open it? There we go. Let's pull this out. So this definitely online looked a little bit pinker. It's a hundred percent orange. And you get, is it orange? It's not an orange. Like it's more like a tangerine -y kind of orange. Has some gold foiling over here. Two little buttons here. Whoa, this is really tiny. Okay, so let's look at this size. Um, okay, that's way, way old. 2019 holidays. I didn't even, okay. Uh, this is eight and a half inches tall by about a little less than like 5.75 inches wide. So if you were thinking, for some reason in my mind, I thought I could just print out pages and add them here. That is 100% incorrect. You're not going to print anything unless you have another thing to resize it. And there was no three hole punch. So you basically are just stuck with the pages that they give you inside of here. Um, little note from Laura. And evaluate your calendar, people to celebrate. So the nice thing about this is because these are, it's going to be hard to write because these are so small, you could take this out and then write on a regular piece of paper and then put it back in. So let's go ahead and just flip through here. Holidays and celebrations. We have some, their signature gold foil. So I do like this. They put pretty much gold foiling everywhere. Like there's nowhere in a power sheets that you're not going to find gold foiling if they want to put it in. They definitely don't spare any expense when it comes to gold foiling. So everything's always pretty. Um, all right, so we had the perpetual calendar. Now we get into January action steps, gather your supplies, refer to your perpetual calendar, choose the birthdays and occasions you celebrate events for this month. And then January events and celebrations. And again, these, I would think this is going to be hard to write in. So let's say I want to write here in blue on the pink. I don't even know. So New Year's Day and planning, um, goal setting party. Yes, I write very big. So yeah, I guess you could see it. It's very faint though, right? Maybe if I use their black marker, I'll be able to see things better. So, so I'm okay is a holiday. Nope, it's kind of, I don't know if you can see that. It comes on wet and then it dries into a really light gray. All right, so those maybe are not the right markers for this book. Yeah, sometimes when you put colors on pages, it seems like a really great idea, but when you want to write on top of them, it's a little difficult uh, just because the colors kind of take over. Um, but it does make for a pretty planner, so it's like a trade-off. All right, so now we have February. So this must just rinse and repeat for every single month. So you get six events per month. So we have March, we have April, we have May, June. And I guess the theory then is that you would just keep ordering a new pack for each year. I'm guessing. I don't even know if they have packs available. Only because you could only use this once and then, um, except for the perpetual calendar. And you could never print out pages to put in here because they're so oddly shaped. Um, and then we have a pocket folder over here. And we have another pocket folder. And that's pretty much it. So what did you think? I think this is a really great concept for a busy mom who has a lot of kids and they have a lot of events and maybe they just keep repeating over and over again, or maybe they repeat because you have five children and they're each going through the same school and doing the same events each year. So you can kind of plan out for that, but it doesn't have any actual dates in it. So for me, I guess I'd prefer a monthly planner versus a, that was dated versus an undated one that just had spaces in it because yeah, I don't know. It just, it seemed like a really cute, it's just beautiful. Everything that Power Sheets makes is absolutely gorgeous. But in practicality and in terms of functionality, it didn't seem very useful like to me for anything I needed because once I set something for the year, it's kind of done and I forget about it. 
I don't need to revisit it again. Like maybe conferences that I like to go to each year, but even then they're in my Google Calendar. I don't know. I like the idea of this celebrations binder, but in reality and in practice, it didn't really add any extra value, I guess, especially because it wasn't the size that I thought it was going to be. Um, so yeah, let me know what you thought. Um, again, super cute. I think you could do something else with this and it could be eight and a half by 11. And like, that's kind of my thing now. I think binders should only be an eight and a half by 11. I know people who like the smaller size are probably like, that's crazy. We don't want eight and a half by 11. Um, but let me know what you think below and other ideas that you had for something that would look cute in a binder uh, other than this. And remember, if you would like to create your own planner, make sure to sign up for my free course, Planner 101. I will leave a link to that below. I hope everyone's having a fabulous day and I will talk to you guys next week. Bye.